So I will be speaking a little bit about an effort that we're doing together about HPC certification. So by HPC, I'm talking about high performance computing. But I would say um, the principle that we apply there also is valid for generic open source software. That's why I found it interesting to talk about today. So generally speaking, there are various challenges, I would say, in training, because not everyone that works on a topic possesses the right level of training. That leads to inefficient usage of systems, frustrations by the user, and lost potential. So we know that good training saves computation, well, compute time and costs, of course. And then now we are talking here about a diverse user background. So um, depending on uh, the user base, so I can talk here about open source software or any kind of software product, I would say, um, it's, it's tough for the people to have a certain knowledge in this topic. And whatever these people bring from a domain that use this software, they may have a different skill set. So next, as a learner, it's, tr it's not trivial to learn something new because you need motivation and you need opportunity. So you need to understand what is a beneficial knowledge for the task that you have at hand. And there's uh, so much training material out there such that you have a difficult task to distinguish on delivers what, and often they overlap and so you miss important aspects. So teaching uh, material provided by different pro teaching providers is hard to compare. And finally, you have difficulties to verify the skills and to get certified, which is finally about, particularly when we talk about open source um, software, because certification typically is quite expensive. So this ap applies particularly to high performance computing, but I would say to industry and Linux skills in general. And as high performance computing uses a lot of open source software, um, open source skills matter a lot to HPC. So there is a natural crossover. So now let's talk about the HPC certification forum, um, which I and others kind of are building and still build upon. So the goal of it is to deliver basically a fine grained standardization of the HPC knowledge representation. So basically what competences do you have, how are they defined? And this is a puzzle set of competences in contrary to having a fixed set of a curriculum or something like that. Because you have different roles, right? We have practitioners, um, we have students, we have administrators, for example, and they have various sub roles. So then you want to navigate um, this kind of knowledge representation and have role specific knowledge math. So what do you have to know being a let's say, and in HPC, an administrator for a certain software piece. Next, we want to establish international attested certificates, and they should be free. And finally, supporting an ecosystem around the HPC competences. And so the forum that I'll be speaking about is basically the central, central authority for this competence representation, certification, and support. But it does not provide the content, and it does not create any curriculum. So it's really an orthogonal approach. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, so it, it's an independent international body. Um, we have a steering board that is elected on an annual basis. We have members with voting rights, so that means they have to contribute a little bit. And we have associate members that anyone can be that. We collaborate with institutions. We try to widen that um, further with the EU, for example, as has been discussed. Um, by Jeremy, I'd say uh, in another context. So everything that we develop is communicated, developed, available in the open. Find a, a key repository here. And of course, we have a web page. And an exception of this rule is examination questions for good uh, reason, I'd say. So they are closed. So let's have a look into this um, competence standard what we are developing. So we, we are talking about skills in our competence standards. And skill defines the background, objectives, and learning outcomes. And here you can see as the skill tree, only a subset. So that means the highest level of the skill tree is shown here. And you can open it a lot. Uh, last time I've looked, we have about 150 skills that we, we have in preparation. And yes, it's a lot of effort. Um, and so a, a particular competence standard that we will release, and we try to release once a year, a new version, is a fixed freeze version of this tree 
with the definitions of each skill and the certificates of it. Okay, so we have different roles here. We have ad even administration a little bit, the usage of HPC environment, HPC knowledge, and software development and performance engineering on the left side. So let me take an example of a high-level skill that is now more relevant to the open source world, the command line interface. It's part of the usage of an HPC system. And first you get a little bit of background where we know that you know HPC systems are Linux-based, access via Linux-based command line interfaces, and so on. And then you get a little bit of knowledge. And now you get a description of the aims of this particular skill. And then you get the learning outcomes that must be examinable, basically. Right here is an example. And this is the basic level of the skill for command line interface. And uh, you know, all defined here. And you can click on this link. I have no time to do that. But I will speak more about this topic in a couple of months, I suppose, here in the open source specialist group. OK, um, again, just to wrap up here this part, I would say this strategy that we are following, and we had a lot of discussions over the years, um, it's relevant for HPC because HPC also needs Linux knowledge. But I would say this kind of strategy with this open way of certification is relevant to practitioners of open source software, hardware development, and so on. And I would hope for, and I hope based on this, that we will get some open, free, and fine-grained certification for Linux knowledge. And just to mention one thing that we brought forward lately is that we have a new uh, option. We have experts adopted skills. That means we, we say there could be an expert, let's say, for, for LLVM, for instance, that could then curate skills related to LLVM and say, you know, this is what we know that users of LLVM should know. This is what we want that administrators of LLVM should know, and so on and so forth, right? You could imagine that you basically adopt these individual skills similar to being a code maintainer, and then you make sure that your clientele has the right level of skills when they use your software. Okay, um, just an outlook and expected benefits, right? We, we believe that this will increase the motivation for users to participate as these certificates will be recognized. We have we are developing basically an tests for it, and uh, it allows you to browse the relevant competences easier, helps you to identify recommended and required skills related to certain tasks, and then finally you can understand and compare teaching offers across sites. So this is the benefit for HPC practitioners. Um, for data centers and data, you, you know, and training providers, for training provider, you can get such a nice seal where it says this is an endorsed training and it covers you know certain skills and so on and so forth, which is kind of you can put on your training material. So for data centers, we hope that it increases and accelerates the sharing of training material. It simplifies the documentation of the skills because you can say I'm training this and this and this, right? And it's clear what you know this encompasses. Um, it allows you to identify missing teaching activities, and you can. Hopefully, in the long run, we can actually use it to correlate the lack of skills with efficient use of resources and therewith optimize and support users best by reducing their, you know, um, stress they have being not able to use things. Okay, yeah. So the HPC certification form, forum is an effort to standardize representation certification of relevant HPC skills. We have a hierarchical definition of skills for practitioners, building blocks that can you can cherry pick for different tasks. We do not provide content by linear curriculum. Yeah, you can visit us on Slack or on our web page. I believe these concepts and the way, at least the way the strategy we are implementing this is very relevant to open source software and hardware, of course. And we aim to have this free and open certification and a lot of ideas and technical concepts that we have been developing and still will continue to develop. Thank you very much. That was my talk.